Hello everyone, I'm Tim Gaybar, Superintendent of Mount Pleasant Area School District. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, with us for this segment is Dr. John Campbell. Dr. Campbell's been uh, here in Mount Pleasant Area for I believe 16 years, or going into your 16th years, year. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Campbell's uh, worked at the, at the junior senior high school, he's worked at the elementaries, uh, and he's currently serving the role of junior high principal. So. We're going to get some ideas from Dr. Campbell as to what's been happening over the summer, what we can look forward to as we go into the, into the new school year, and because uh, I think we're poised to have a tremendous 23-24 school year all we, around the we, district, we Dr. Are. Campbell. We so. are. We're excited about that. But the first thing, just, just an overview of like maintenance or, or projects or anything happening around the building, and I know mm -hmm. we're going to talk to, to Mr. Gambita as well, and we'll see mm -hmm. some similarities, but what do you see around the building maintenance-wise, project-wise, or anything different? Because there's always activity in the summer there happening is, in buildings. So. Well, thank you, Dr. Gabe Bauer, for first uh, giving me an opportunity to speak to uh, the community and the parents and the students. We're excited about the 23-24 school year coming up. And uh, our building, the Junior Senior High, is the hub of the community, and it is bustling all summer. You would think it's quiet, but it's not. It's, uh, we have to, first of all, give a lot of uh, shout-outs and uh, thank yous to our uh, custodial staff and our maintenance uh, uh, individuals that are all throughout the campus keeping this place uh, tidied up, repaired. Uh, cleaned up and uh, ready to go. When you walk into this building, welcome back now, you're going to be impressed with how clean this facility looks, looks like. It's, it's in great shape right now. Uh, as for major projects, the biggest one has, we, we have we've done a number of different safety upgrades to our junior, senior high school uh, with a big emphasis on our fire alarm system uh, with, right. uh, that is now in sync with all the other uh, systems that we have in place now. So it's all one one unit so it, it's it's great to see that upgrade that we've had we've had guardian then all summer long getting those uh, those systems in place and going through uh, their matrix they have to in order to get those things online still for putting us. final touches on some things and they are they are so it's but it's been a, a daunting task for them to do <laughs> sure that has. Uh, our custodians have been in every single room, every single hallway, every single closet cleaning and getting ready. Uh, they're putting in lights, you know, fixing light fixtures today, for example. So getting all of those things taken care of. Uh, we just had some uh, a water system, you know, a water line that needed to be uh, uh, fixed That's and repaired right. here recently too. Uh, you're going to notice around campus, uh, particularly with the, with the safety, uh, new signage uh, outside and inside, you're going to notice those uh, entry poles uh, that we've got. And you also, in the ballast, and then you're also going to notice uh, uh, some shrubs have gone away too. So yeah. again, overall maintenance, th things that we've been given some recommendations through our audits uh, that we follow through with our, our safety committee uh, through the board. Excellent. Uh, you're, you're right. And, and the ballers that uh, Dr. Campbell mentions, is uh, those are the... the uh, the poles that are put in strategic places mm -hmm. to avoid any vehicular traffic from from you know hitting any of the students or staff right. in crowded areas and what have you. Yeah. So, uh, close to 90 of those district wide have been put in. Yep. And, you know, you'll see them in, in various areas. And right now, uh, they, they they look a certain way, but they're going to have improved looks even mm -hmm. in about four to six weeks. There's some some uh, some covers that are coming with them that'll make them look even more yep. more pleasing to the eye. But thank you for that. Uh, yeah. I know we have one of our traditions here is Welcome Back Night, mm -hmm. and yours is coming up on the 23rd. Right. Uh, can you talk to our parents community about what they can expect to see when they come to Welcome Back Night on the 23rd? Well, this is one of those uh, big events that we look forward to every single year here at Mount Pleasant, uh, like Dr. Gabe Bauer said. Uh, from 4 to 7.30 on uh, August the 23rd, we'll have our doors opened up. And, and just like in, in the years past, you're going to notice there's really three things for our community, our students, and our parents to be involved with. Uh, one, if you are an incoming seventh grader, we'll have our orientation meeting right off the bat at 4.30 uh, in the auditorium, kind of going over uh, student responsibilities and expectations and just procedural operational things uh, that we do in the junior high side of the building. Uh, once that meeting is done, uh, our junior high students have the ability to uh, walk around the junior high side of the building. Uh, get to meet their teachers, see where the rooms uh, of their classrooms are going to be, uh, and take a look and, and figure out that, that, that locker combination, uh, which is something I know is always uh, scary for a lot of our new students coming in at the uh, beginning of the year. And then, just like in years past, we will have what we call basically a club and activity expo in the uh, senior high gym location on the opposite side of the, of the auditorium in the rotunda area of our building. 
so students can uh, talk to uh, club sponsors about different activities that we have here. Uh, we're also uh, invite a number of our uh, nonprofit and other organizations within the community uh, to be a part of that uh, so they can provide information uh, about those organizations uh, that our students are involved with, uh, as well as uh, DMJ will be there to talk about bus runs and uh, any, any, uh, any, any things dealing with that. We'll have some of our secretaries there dealing with athletics questions with there to uh, Chromebook uh, to getting yourself logged in with parents with eSchool Plus. So uh, the expo is a critical component of Welcome Back Night. Uh, it's a one-stop shop for all of those different things that you may have questions uh, besides just meeting the teacher uh, in the classroom. And again, this year, just like we did last Last year, all our new, new students and our seventh graders, we have a scavenger hunt uh, put in place. And if once a seventh grade student completes the, the scavenger hunt and turns that in, we have a fantastic welcome back Viking t-shirt for those students to uh, have for school pride. I, I recall them going around the building last yes. year doing that. So yep. great idea. Yeah, it, the nutrition group, several different folks will be here joining mm -hmm. us on that particular night. So it's a, it's a very informative night, very well attended. Mm -hmm. And a great way to get everybody prepared for the yep. kickoff, which happens just uh, the Monday of the next week. It's They'll be coming, coming soon. In. They're coming yeah. soon. So Dr. Campbell, what, what, what initiatives uh, are taking place in the junior high for the 23-24 school year, whether that be uh, teacher-driven, student-driven, mm -hmm. uh, anything that you've planned for that you might see new and exciting coming yeah, up Yeah, there's year. a couple of the things that are happening here in the junior high. And there's also a number of things that we're continuing that we've kind of kicked off over yep. the last couple of years as well. Uh, first, we have some new staff members uh, at the junior high, so we want to welcome Mrs. Mickenack. She's coming down th from the high school to the junior high to be That's one great. of our staff members. And then we have uh, Ms. Kendro, who is going to be our new health and PE teacher. We're excited about having her on staff. Uh, additionally, uh, we have Mrs. Temple, who's going to be our new junior high student council sponsor, and she has a lot of wonderful ideas and activities already starting to come up for uh, the upcoming year that we're uh, looking forward to. So that we just want to welcome some new staff because they're going to have new initiatives, new ideas, and new things they're going to and do. And you'll have a long-term uh, substitute position as well with we, Ms. Schrader. We do have Ms. Schrader coming in for uh, seventh grade seventh reading grade class reading. too. So yes, yeah, so we have some new New, new, new individuals, new members, and we're excited to have them part of our, our overall collective staff in the junior high. Uh, I know in our special ed department, Mrs. Bam, Ms. Shields, and Mrs. Temple, they've uh, re requested some different courses, some things that will help some of our students with remediation purposes, yep. uh, with, the, with the new schedule. So helping to provide some new uh, courses that help provide support interventions for our students is a critical component that we want in our junior high. And they've taken some initiative with some of those courses there too. So we're excited to see those classes take off and run with uh, those three exciting staff members. The big thing is uh, kind of is our PBIS program, the Positive Behavior Intervention and Support Program that we instituted last year. Uh, our committee has been working again this year, and we'll be rolling that out again this year. Uh, where you get those Viking virtues and our horns, our stickers that we have in the hallway, and ultimately get some uh, uh, some positive. Um, rewards for our students that are doing the, those expectations that we have, whether they're in the hallway or the classroom, on the bus, some of those areas that we want to uh, see improvement in behavior and just see our kids model uh, what we expect them to do every single day, day in and day out. Uh, with that, the, the new sponsorship with our student council, we're looking at incorporating some new STEM programs and, and competitions. We already do the Anything That Floats competition. But there's some other things that we're looking to revive and bring back that have been done in years past and even uh, add some nuances to some of those programs there too. And then one of the other big initiatives this year is we are fortunate enough that we have a, uh, an attendance specialist, Mrs. Rivaldo, who's mm -hmm. going to be with That's us right. this year that I'll be working with uh, to help us track attendance better because uh, we understand if you take a look at all the, the research out there, uh, attendance and grades, they, they, they are together. They are, they, they, they come together. So there's a direct correlation between the two of them and we're excited to have a, a, a specialist working with us to help uh, have our kids here every day, day in and day out. Yeah, it's a welcome addition it for is. sure. I know Absolutely. That. We're excited about that. So any specific items that your parents would need to know as the beginning of the school year approaches? Yeah, uh, first of all, we have a fantastic staff in the junior senior high building. Uh, very supportive, very caring, very nurturing uh, in the junior high side of our building. If you have any questions, I mean, we ultimately want you to talk to that teacher first, but Mr. Patoka, our guidance counselor, to myself, uh, we're all here. Mr. Belinsky is assistant principal. We're all here to help you out uh, to make it a great year for your students. 
Uh, so if you have any questions, you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to talk to those teachers, talk to uh, the administration, the guidance counselor, whatever we can do to help uh, have start off our years is a, is a great thing. But reach out and communicate, and because uh, that, that relievi alleviates a lot of any, any issues in the future. And uh, Absolutely. just have the students be here. I mean, we, we can't stress enough. Uh, attendance matters, and uh, we, want, we want your kids here every single day. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Dr. Campbell. Yeah. Uh, you know, once again, August 23rd, we have the Welcome Back yep. Night. Uh, quite a bit of information uh, that, that goes out there. Uh, I think hopefully you found this to be helpful, uh, but I think you're going to find that to be, boy, even, even more helpful mm -hmm. because as you walk around, there's so much at your fingertips for, for a couple hours that you can get into and get yourself prepared and become comfortable as the school years begin. So yep. thank you to Dr. Campbell for joining us today, Bye. and uh, thank you to everyone for, for joining us. Yep. Have a great day. Go Vikes. Bye.